All right, look. Now, Wonder Woman saved y'all ass. But don't get it fucked up. Y'all still on the chopping block, so this shit better be fire or that's it. I'm fucking done. What's going on, everybody? It's the granddad of granddad, Wooly, and you are here again for another edition of Wooly Reviews Film Data. We got a movie review today. We're going to talk about the brand new movie that just fucking dropped that everybody's been looking forward to and have been hyped about. Well, not necessarily, y'all. Honestly, like, it's a movie that we've been hyped about, but we're also scared shitless because, like, these motherfuckers at DC have not been putting good numbers on the board. Like, they got one good movie. That was Wonder Woman. But everything else they've been putting out has been... Yeah. So... I mean, we scared. We really scared because this is the big one. This is the big motherfucker. This is the one that we've been leading up to. And fuck, nigga, let's let's just pray and hope they didn't fuck this up. These motherfuckers are back. They dropped the new shit. Squad's all here talking about the new movie, Justice League. And for those who don't know, Justice League is a group of DC superheroes comprised of, well, I'm going to just name the ones in the movie, but you got Superman, bitch ass, Batman, my dude, Wonder Woman, Joan Second, The Flash, Fast Ass, uh, Cyborg, Brother Man, and then you got Aquaman, aka The Water Boy. Um, and they all come together and they all join together to fight one common enemy that's threatening to destroy the world. You know, standard superhero shit. So now we're going to see if Justice League does the justice that it deserves to give us with a good movie or if it's nothing but a bunch of injustice and that's a good shit like the video game that I'm killing niggas on all day. Actual injustice and we... It, and we just fucking don't like DC no more. I'm just Marvel all day. I'm going to start wearing Marvel and everything. Because, like, DC, you just lost me. You lost me. Let's talk about the shit. So the basic setup of the movie is this. It's still following along the same story that the previous DC movies have done. So Batman's still holding it down in Gotham. Uh, Wonder Woman's still doing her thing. She's in the real world, but she's also still doing the Wonder Woman thing, you know, protecting and saving the day. Uh, Superman's still dead, which is good. Um, we can't have that motherfucker on the streets. And um, that's pretty much it. And then you got the other characters who I'll talk about in a little bit. It turns out there's going to be a brand new threat coming in from the outer space that Batman's rich regular ass can't take care of. So he, he I mean, he got to call up the squad. And he ain't got a squad, so he's going to make a squad. So he enlists Wonder Woman because, you know, she's strong and fine as hell. So, you know, you got to have that on the team. And then he finds the Flash who's just fast. And, like, I mean, that's pretty much it. He can run all over the place, get some place. He can go get the food for them when they get hungry after they fighting and shit because the motherfucker can't fight for shit, apparently, in this movie. You got Cyborg who is, I mean, pretty much dead. But his father, who, like, really don't got a good relationship with him anyway, kind of, like, fixed him up on some freezer shit with a cybernetic body and then mixed in with this mother box shit that I'm going to talk more about. I mean, and then now Cyborg is like this supercomputer slash human who can do all this crazy types of shit, which is pretty damn dope. And of course, we got Aquaman, King of the Seas, Atlantis is on, coming out the water, splashing on niggas all day. And that's what he does. I mean, he a cool ass Aquaman. He like goes to the bar, he drinks, he fucks niggas up. I mean, he's got well-conditioned hair. I mean, it's all, I mean, everything is working out for this motherfucker Aquaman. He's just a cool motherfucking dude. And Batman coerces them all to help him out and join this league or this team to be able to stop this incoming threat that threatens to destroy the whole world. And that's pretty much the synopsis of the movie. Now, here's the thing. Is the movie good? And, uh... Ah, jeez. All right, look, the... No, it's not... It's not good, y'all, okay? It's not bad. Okay, let me... It's like... It's like 50 in the middle. It's like, ugh. But it's like, I can watch it. But it's still, ugh, for real. That's what it is. Let me, let me tell you why. First of all, the story itself. Like, the Justice League is this big... They the Justice League. This is a powerful fucking team. But the way that they come together, it's just so, like, like, ugh. Like, think about it. It's, it's pretty much like you ask, like, your friend to move. Like, hey, can you help me move? That's how Batman went about asking, like, you want to join the Justice League. Like, he's like, yo, some shit's about to go down. You want to join this team? The Flash just says yes because he ain't got shit else to do when he needs friends. Cyborg... Kind of, he says yes because he gets coerced into doing it in a way from Wonder Woman because she sweet talked his ass. I mean, and then everybody else has their own personal stake involved in the incoming threat. Aquaman does, Wonder Woman does, and Batman just being Batman because he wants to be the superior motherfucker. He just has to be involved in everything. And that's how the team fucking forms. And it turns out that when this threat shows up, I'm not telling you who it is, I'm not going to spoil that, but when it shows up, they're a powerful motherfucker, they can't really be fucked with, and the team as it is 
cannot stop this motherfucker and he's going around trying to get the mother boxes which are these powerful cubes and they have like this infinite power that can just pretty much control everything and if you get all of them together bad shit can fucking happen like really bad shit like take over the world shit and you know the justice league don't want that to happen but they can't stop this motherfucker so batman decides against everybody's wishes including mine to resurrect Superman. That's a spoiler, y'all, but I had to say it. I mean, y'all know he's bad. Y'all know we can leave that motherfucker out of the Justice League. So Superman gets resurrected in this crazy fucking way, and for like a split moment in this movie, Superman's kind of cool. Like, kind of cool. But then, like, I go back to hating that motherfucker not too long after that. But, like, he shows up, and, like, that's pretty much where this movie goes, and then, you know, they fight the threat, blah, blah, blah. You know how it goes. Now, here's the problem with this movie. The story itself just seems so thrown together and it really doesn't seem like a true threat that like the Justice League would need to come in and really do this. Like, honestly, the way it's portrayed, Superman could have took care of this shit by himself if he was still alive. Like, that's the thing. That's how it is. Like, literally, it seems like this is all about Superman coming back to life and when Superman comes back to life, he's like all powerful, overrated motherfucker and he just takes care of everything and makes the whole goddamn day better for everyone. That's pretty much what it is and everybody else there just kind of like helps out in a little way. Like the Flash doesn't do much. I mean he's cool looking, his jokes are overdone, like he's the comic relief but after a while you get bored with that shit and he doesn't even fight really. Like he just runs around and like he's he like a bitch nigga on a fucking group. Cyborg, his backstory is like not even really there that much and then like he just does nerdy shit. He doesn't do like all that super cool Cyborg shit. He does little shit here and there but like Cyborg is a cool motherfucker and it just seems that we just got a real watered down version of him and speaking of watered down let's talk about Aquaman like Aquaman himself he a cool dude he does some cool shit up in here with the water and shit but he ain't talked to one fish I mean he ain't even called a shark or nothing like that I was mad about that I mean he could call one shark or like an octopus or somebody but he didn't do that shit but he did some cool action shit but like other than that he really didn't like do much either it was really mostly focused on Wonder Woman Superman and Batman. Wonder Woman was great in this movie. Like, she was really one of the best parts of the movie. Batman was like, eh. Like, he had his moments where, like, he felt, like, out of place because he really ain't got no powers. So, like, it really showed in this movie. Like, being rich is cool, but once superpower motherfuckers show up, you kind of like that, that, like, weak link in a way. I mean, I mean, you're the smart dude, but you ain't even smart as Cyborg now. So, like, really, what the fuck, Batman? You're just a motherfucker with money. And then Superman, like, is you know, he does that shit. So yeah, that's pretty much it. But it just feels like this movie was the Superman show featuring Wonder Woman and Batman with two other motherfuckers or three other motherfuckers that showed up. That's pretty much how it is with this Justice League. This team doesn't really feel like a fully formed team until around the end where they kind of feel like a team in a way but not really at the same time because like it's just like, eh. Uh, and it has to do a lot with the action scenes. DC action scenes, I don't know what it is about it, but they just don't excite me. Like, I get bored. I get like, eh. I borderline fall asleep on some of them. And these are action scenes I'm talking about. Like, like some, like the Wonder Woman action scenes were really great. But for some reason, like, action scenes in the other DC movies are just like, eh. They're like, eh. Okay, so what? You punched a nigga. You threw some shit, and then that explosion, okay? But it's just like, it doesn't, like, get you, like, invested. I don't know why, but that's just how it is with DC movies. But it's not all completely bad, y'all. Like I said, Wonder Woman is great in here. You got a lot of recurring characters, so you got, like, Lois Lane's back, and Alfred's up in this motherfucker, of course. And, like, there's also some other characters who show back up, but I'm not going to spoil it for y'all, because they come, like, after the credits and shit. So make sure you stay after the credits, because you're going to see some pretty cool shit after that. I mean, I think I was expecting one thing, but I got something else, which also makes perfect, complete sense. So I can see why they went that direction. So make sure you stay after the credits to watch that shit. But other than that, this is just another, just like Batman v Superman, just like the other Superman movie, just like Suicide Squad. They're just uh, movies that aren't going up to their potential. This movie could have been amazing. This should have been the biggest movie in DC's fucking catalog. And it's still not even like close to what Wonder Woman was. And this movie's just going to be another subpar DC release that might make a lot of movie in this opening week. But critically, it's just going to be shadow and just like everything else. And DC's got to go back to the drawing board. But I don't even care anymore. Like, I really don't. I'm not looking forward to anything else they do because it's just like... What's the fucking point after this shit? So my final verdict, I'm not saying that Justice League is a watchable but yet still a complete and utter disappointment compared to what we should have gotten from this movie. All I'm saying is that you can get through the movie. I mean, like, it's not like God awful. It's probably not like Batman v Superman awful, but still it's disappointing when you put in the fact of all these characters in here. All I'm really just trying to say is that the acting on here is like, you know, what you expect. The story is weak to me. Like, 
The villain's cool on here, but like I just feel like the threat really could have just been taken care of by Superman if he was alive. It didn't feel like it was really necessary to have the entire Justice League take care of this. Because like literally, Superman and Wonder Woman could have probably handled this shit no problem because it feels like everybody else was just like just like sidekicks and not really like an essential part of the team. Other than that, the movie is just like something that I really wouldn't want to watch anymore. Everybody at the end of it was like, that's it. That's how it ends. That's how it is. Like, everybody was just like, eh. There was no round of applause. There was like no like standing ovation. There was no, oh my God, this is great. Everybody was just like, God damn, I just spent like a lot of money on this shit for no reason. And like, it's a movie that you can watch, but like, you ain't missing much really. You really not. All you really going to get out of this movie to know is Superman's back. And that's pretty much it. And like the ending credits after that let you know what's going to happen after this. But I really don't give a fuck. Even though it's like, nah, I really don't give a fuck. So all I got to say is that for me, the Justice League is not granddad approved. But because Wonder Woman's in there, she's doing her thing. And I can watch it. It edges out. So I'll give it a just barely granddad recommended. So go, I mean, watch it if you want. If you plan on watching it, check it out. Don't expect much. Like, it's another basic-ass DC movie that we've been getting from, like, Suicide Squad and Batman v Superman and the first Superman movie, the Man of Steel shit. And, like, Wonder Woman's still the best DC movie they've put out. And I think that's probably going to stay that way because I don't think they can do anything else with these characters. I'm not looking forward to anything else with these other characters. And it's just like, I mean, you fucked it up, DC. Like... You're back, you're back on the shit list, so, like, I don't, I don't know what to tell you. Marvel's killing y'all all day, every day. Ain't, I mean, and Deadpool's about to come out, too. I mean, fuck, y'all fuck. I mean, shit. But I got nothing more to say. Justice League is just barely granddad recommended. So go check out the shit, because, I mean, I guess you got to if you watch the other movies, right? I mean, but don't expect much, because, like, I, this should have been a fucking amazing movie. It was not even close to that shit at all. Flip it. All right, y'all, that's going to do it for today's video. Make sure you give me a thumbs up and drop a comment. Tell me what you think of Justice League if you've seen it. If you've not seen it, like I said, it comes out officially today. Check it out if you want to, especially if you've seen the other movies. You'll probably feel the same way I felt. I mean, some people are going to be like, yo, this movie was amazing, yo. Like, nah, it's not. It's not really that amazing at all. And, like, I just feel like DC really just can't get this shit right. They are ruining, I mean, they are ruining everything. Like, literally, you have gold here with these characters and you just cannot seem to get them off the ground like and i don't know what the fuck is wrong with y'all y'all can't do it marvel does with every fucking movie every single one but y'all can't get it right except for one fucking time so like i don't know what y'all gonna do after this but like i really don't give a fuck but hey, that, that's what that is. Previous videos on the size was my latest single. Check that out. Show us some love. And as always, Twitter, Facebook, SoundCloud, Instagram. Links in the description below. And subscribe. Button on the screen. Button below. Wooly reviews twice a week. As well as the Cuphead gameplay. Check that shit out. Uh, hit me up on the Patreon. Show some support for that. And all my other shit info is below. And I got nothing more to say. So until next time I take my leave. Grand Data. Justice League. It's an injustice what y'all have done to this goddamn cinematic universe. Y'all need to just fucking hit the hard reset and do this shit completely over because it's not working at all. But fuck, I don't even know what we're going to do after this shit. I mean, Black Panther, I'm looking for you. Deadpool 2, I'm looking for you. Marvel got it right. They'll take care of me because y'all ain't, goddammit. I'm out of here.